A Big Island family claims lying and overzealous social workers wrongly took their children. Today, the family's attorneys face tough questions from a federal appeals court. KITV's Daryl Huff has our exclusive report. A four-year-old girl is being interviewed about whether her father had sexually abused her. A CPS social worker hands her an earphone so a police officer can talk to her. The girl and her brother would spend years in foster care until courts acquitted the father and reunited the family, which sued everyone involved. We described lie after lie after lie. Today, a three-judge federal appeals panel was asked by the state to protect the social workers from the family's lawsuit. But they have not produced a single shred of evidence that Karen Duty or Donald Cup conspired with anybody to falsify evidence. The family's lawyer argues that the social workers made up their minds the father was guilty and ignored evidence that the girl's preschool had prompted the allegations. I'm but saying she sure. was manipulated by her preschool. It's clear in the record. She said it, though. Did she not? She did and not. She workers... said something about tinklers and daddy. Isn't that really their mission? To Certainly. protect children from being Absolutely. physically abused and sexually abused. No doubt about it. And if you don't get a warrant and you don't have probable cause, you can't seize the child. Before they can seize, they have to have a yes, court order. because I don't give a flying fruitcake about what the statute in Hawaii Hawaii says. What they did was investigate. You just don't like the way they did it. Or they, they did not investigate. The they investi came, you're interrupting me, I sir. Regardless of the facts of this case, some fear that if the Ninth Circuit allows the social workers to be sued personally, in the future, other social workers will be less likely to act quickly when children need help. Reporting from the UH Law School, Daryl Huff, KITV4, Island Television News.